Hey you friendos, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. In today's video, we're going to be covering the new California Coast palette from Sydney Grace. I know it's Sydney Grace week around here. If you are with it guys, then just stay tuned. Okay, so first off, first off, you see this palette, you get an idea of what you think it's gonna look like inside. If you haven't seen it so far, if you haven't seen anything on it, what do you think the color scheme is gonna be? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, the big reveal. Yeah, okay. This isn't the California Coast palette. This is the rosy mauve palette. Personally, I would have loved to have seen some beachy colors in here. Some blue, some green, some sand color. But no, we have rose mauve. And to be honest, I probably would not have picked this palette up except for they are running their Black Friday in July sale right now. And this was one of the items that I just decided to put on my bundle since this was a brand new palette. Not trying to ramble on too long here. That doesn't mean that I hate it. It just means that it's not my typical color story. This definitely should have been named the Rose Mauve palette. But you know what guys? I love Sydney Grace's formulation and if you like the performance of Patrick Ta, if you like the performance of most Natasha Denona's, you're going to like Sydney Grace. Their formulations are very similar, leaning more towards Natasha more so than Patrick, but the color story and everything, doesn't this look like a Patrick Ta palette? That kind of color scheme? Yeah. 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 Okay. Enough of my prattling, let's get into this palette. And now it's swatch time. So we have Half Moon Bay. Gorgeous. Laguna. Beautiful as well. Glass Beach. Butterfly Beach. And are you guys noticing all the mattes, they're just so smooth, they're so pigmented. The same for the shimmers. It's just an excellent formulation. Okay, so Malibu. These two are so similar. Now for La Jolla Shores. Big Sur. Very lovely. I think that one's the prettiest one in the pan. Santa Cruz. And lastly, Carmel Beach. So yeah, these are all lovely. Like you can tell these are gonna perform beautifully on the eye. It's just that it's a very similar color story throughout. And I wish that there was more deviation in the shades. And friendos, since a few of you have asked me to do something a little bit more glam, something a little bit more editorial, I'm gonna try to kick this up a notch today. I don't really know what that means yet, but I'll figure it out along the way. All right, let's roll. Okay, from Tres Luce, I'm gonna start out with their B103, and we're gonna dive into La Jolla Shores. This is the darkest shade in the palette. And we're gonna take that right into the crease. This is the only shade in the palette that I don't feel has a mauve undertone. It's just a true brown black. I'm not too worried about this going on perfectly because I'm going to be carving this out and fixing it up later. And no surprise here, guys, this shade went on very pigmented and it smoothed out seamlessly. Also, just wanna throw it out there, if you are someone with a tiny eye, you don't have a lot of workspace, this right here, this is a good brush to have in your collection if you are looking for a fluffy crease brush that's also small. So next we're gonna go in with Butterfly Beach. This is a very fluffy brush. It's from Crown. I got this in a boxy charm, but it doesn't have a number name. So I'm just gonna take this all over the lid and a little bit above. That moment when you start doing something and you realize that you are gonna cut a crease. So you're just gonna be going all over this once again. That's me right now. This is one blurring matte. So pretty. Okay, somehow in the midst of all this blending, my eyeshadow is now starting to look blue. Interesting. 
Now I wanna smoke out the outer edge more, so we're gonna go back in with Laguna. And this is on a Sonogy Classic Crease. And friendos, I'm not being careful at all today. We're just going to be experimental today. I think the shade is probably the most beachy in the pan. Like it's slightly coral, just ever so slightly. Now I'm going to go in with Glass Beach. This is probably the warmest shade in the palette. Going to use that Tris Luce brush once again. I'm gonna try to relax my eyes so I don't end up just going all over the eye. <laughs> You girls with hooded eyes, do any of y'all have one eye that's like more hooded than the other? Because for me, this one is more hooded. It gets a little tricky when I'm trying to get everything symmetrical. And I'm just going back over the crease, friendos. Again, I, I'm still planning to cut this at some point. I just want a lot of dimension in this look. Okay, with that Sonia G brush, I'm going to go all over everything that I just put down. So on my Natasha Denona number one, I'm going to start carving all this out. Now I'm my Natasha Denona number 11. We are gonna go into Half Moon Bay. So this is with no spray. And this is with spray. Not a whole lot of difference. It works really well on its own. So I took this three-fourths of the way all over my lid, doing the same on the other side. And now guys, let's dip into Big Sur. And this of course is without spray. And this is with spray. Again, not much difference here. I'm also really taken back by how little fallout there is, both in the palette and on my face. I'm just not seeing any. So far guys, I am surprised. Like to me, this looks like it's more dimensional than what it looked like in the pan. It looked very one color story in the pan and then on my eyes, it looks very different. Okay, so let's get in with some very thick liner. And friendo, slow and steady wins the race. Now I'm going in with some Urban Decay All Nighter. This is in the shade Zero. And this is gonna hit my tight line, it's gonna hit my water line. It's going all over, guys. Now, friendos, I'm gonna dress this up a little bit. I was rummaging through my drawers and I found this. It's a tiny little pack of gems that I'm pretty sure I bought from Mark. Do you guys remember Mark? Maybe 10 years ago, it was an Avon brand back before it became sacrilege to buy from an MLM. Yeah, I have these, so we're gonna try these out. Hopefully they still stick. Da -da. Finally got myself a wax pen. Okay, drill me up, Scotty. This <laughs> I dropped it. Okay, I think we have to like push down with like a monster grip or something. Okay, got one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it fell off. I have dropped two of them. Oh, the joy of being here right now. Okay, cool, I got a green one on. Okay. Now well, this is my life now. This is my life now. My <laughs> present. <laughs> All right, thanks, Polyglog. We did it. 
We did it. Alrighty, friendos, we are back. I got some help from my sister getting these on. The wax pen that I bought was total shit, so I was really glad to have my sister step in and help me. So to finish off this look, we are going to go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Oh Snap. This just feels like it's the same color as my lips. Okay, we need something a little bit more drastic. This is from NYX and this is called Club Hopper. Then I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit of Nude Sticks Nude 08. My lips were exceptionally dry today, so I just want a little bit of moisture on them. And then because I don't want to look too grim, we're going to go in with Mellow Mauve from Makeup by Mario. This is in his Soft Pop formula. And I'm going to do something a little more dolly today. Oh yeah, duh, we need to put on some eyelashes. What would this look be without eyelashes? I'll be right back to you guys. All right, friendos, I'm back. I think the look is finally complete. You guys, let me know if you like this. It's definitely different from anything that I've done so far on my channel. I can't say that it's perfect, but you know, every time you try, you get better. So overall, I'm fairly happy with it. What I'm most relieved to see, you actually can get a very interesting color story out of this palette. It just depends on how you apply the shadows. Other than that, I would give this palette, as far as performance is concerned, I would definitely give this probably an A to A+. Plus. As far as overall, I would give this B plus just because I feel like we could have seen a little bit more creativity and cohesiveness between the image on the outside and what's inside the palette. Alrighty, friendos, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed spending my time here with you guys. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comment section down below. Let me know if you own any Sydney Grace palettes, what you would compare the formula to if you do own some. I can't wait to hear your thoughts and feedback. Also, if you don't mind, please give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I hope that you will subscribe if you have not done so already, because if not, we'll both have to live in the shadows of never knowing what could have been. All right, guys, have a fabulous rest of your day. Bye.